Okay, so this preset is the first one I really built out after I got the quad cortex. What I was doing was, at the time, I was new to the quad cortex and I was coming from an analog rig and I was trying to recreate that rig on the quad cortex. I had an old video where I walked through that rig in total. I'll put the link here if you're interested in that. But the short version is that I had a clean amp that I would use for my clean tone. And then I had a victory jack preamp that I would use kind of a four cable method for my dirty tone and lead tones with some other pedals in front of it. So I wanted to recreate that when I got my card Cortex. So the first thing I did was do captures of the Victory preamp pedal, of the Archer Icon pedal I was using in front of it, and then mix them with the devices that are on the Quad Cortex. So that's what this preset is. And I was really happy with this preset. Once I got it done, I liked it quite a bit. It made me very excited for the Quad Cortex, enough so that I was willing to get rid of a lot of that equipment. And since then, you know, I've been diving into all the different aspects of the Quad Cortex, getting to know different captures and different models. And just recently, I kind of came back to this preset and kind of reminded why I liked it so much and why it kind of convinced me to go all in on the Quad Cortex as kind of my main rig. And I figure I'd share it here today. I've used it in other videos, like the video on how to do scenes and things like that. So there's been a version of this preset out on my Cortex Cloud account for a while, but I've been tweaking it again lately, adding in a few pedals that I didn't have before and really taking what I'd learned from all the work I've been doing in the Quad Cortex and kind of applying it back to this preset that I created back in my early days. So I figured I'd go through today and I'll reshare it on the Cortex Cloud account, the new version, so you can download it and play with it. So if you look here on the scene setup, and this is pretty familiar for anyone who's played with any of my other presets, like the Kraken preset, things like that. I tend to like to do it kind of left to right in terms of ascending gain levels. So clean, a low gain, a rhythm, and a lead. And then I'll stack them in terms of a boost on each tone. So it ends up with kind of eight core tones. So let's start with the gain sounds. And the core of that is this Victory Jack preamp pedal that I've been using in my rig. And I captured it on the Quad Cortex. All those captures are available on Cortex Cloud account if you want to grab them. You can see here I'm using the gain level three and I've got the bright switch off on this one. I'm running that through a EL34 power amp capture that comes with the Quad Cortex. And then it's going into the Mesa 4x12 with V30s in it. This is my favorite kind of cab for kind of crunch sounds on the quad cortex. And then on the back end, I've got a tape delay. You know, delay time's a little under 400 milliseconds. Mix isn't too high. And then I've got a plate lush reverb. So let's hear what that sounds like. And for today, I'm playing an HSS Strat style guitar. So you can hear, it's not a heavy crunch on it. It's kind of a low to mid gain kind of thing. But it's a real nice kind of basis for putting other pedals on top of it and kind of building on top of that. An example being this rhythm boost. I'm stacking on another capture I created of my Archer Icon on top of that rhythm sound to kind of a heavier rhythm sound. And then the low gain sound, what I'm doing is I've got that same Victory preamp I'm pulling the gain back just a little bit so we're getting a little less gain from this capture for the preamp. And what I did is I stacked in front of it a capture of a Kingsley page. So this is a two pedal from Kingsley that kind of adds a little bit of a dumbly kind of tone to it. And so that sounds like this. <laughs> version of that, I'm swapping out the page for this J-Rocket HRM. So this is a new capture that I created, and I did a video on this a while back. I'll put the link here. And all these captures, again, are on my Cortex Cloud. You can grab them. But this is the kind of gain level two with a good amount of mid and a little bit of extra top end.
with this HRM capture, it, it's a really nice tone. And then for the leads, you know, I'm back to the main, I got the jack and I've got the gain back up to being even. And on the front, I've got a jewel compressor just to add a little bit of softness to the pick attack. Again, we're going for kind of an Eric Johnson-y kind of thing here. And then I've got the Archer Icon. And that sounds like this. pushing the gain on the jack capture a little bit, just trying to get a little more crunch out of that. And I've tweaked the EQ just a little bit. On all of these, I've got some high cut on the end. This one's at 6,000. If we look at the lead, which is a little bit softer, it's at 4,000. So that's a little bit more of that kind of Eric Johnson violin kind of thing, cutting off that high end. This one has a little more high end to it and a little more gain. <laughs> And then for the clean tones, I'm still using that kind of EL34 power amp. And what I ended up putting in front of it was this capture, which I found on the Cortex Cloud. So a Kingsley Maiden is a tube preamp pedal that's mimicking a Fender Blackface preamp section. And so this one's pretty bright. And I ended up putting the page in front of it as well. So again, we're getting a little bit of that dumbbell roundness in front of this Fender kind of tone. And I really like this clean tone. You can probably hear, I've also got a dual chorus on the end of this tone. difference between these and the crunch tones is I'm using the high watt 4x12 instead of the Mesa with the V30s in it and I'm not doing any high cut on this at all so we're getting kind of the full spectrum of sounds from that. The other difference here is instead of using the tape delay on the end I'm actually running an analog delay into the front of the preamp to get a little bit more of that kind of sound of a delay pedal in front of a fender. And then for the boosted version, what I'm doing is I've just putting that dual compressor on the front just to give a little more volume and also a little more fullness to it. kind of clean lead tone. So anyway, that is kind of what I would consider my core set of tones on the quad cortex. You know, I play around a lot with the different amps and things like that, and that's fun, but I always find myself coming back to this preset, and it's kind of become kind of my main tones that I use. Again, I'll always be tweaking it. Like, you know, just recently I said I added this HRM capture into it, so I'm always tweaking it and playing with it. I'll keep it up to date on the Cortex Cloud, so if you download it after a few months of this video, you might find it slightly different. 
but I think the core of it will remain the same. So feel free to grab it and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Thank you.